So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to compress or archive a file on Mac and Windows. So let's start with the Mac first. So right here, I have a note file. I'm just gonna open it up, just really plain, just some text in a note file. So what I wanna do is right click on it and then click compress. When I do that, it makes a little zip file called note file. So that's just one way to do it. Let's say I want to do more files. So I have these other files right here. There's now four note files. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag on all of them so that all of them are selected. And then I'm going to right click and click compress. Boom. So now it makes a new file called archive.zip. When I click on that, it'll just unzip it. And when I open that up, boom, all four files are in there. Now, another thing you can do is I'm gonna make a new folder. Okay, I'll just leave it called untitled folder just for this example, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag on all these files. And I'm gonna move it inside the untitled folder. Boom, so we can see all four files are in there. I'm gonna right click on the folder itself and then click compress. Boom, so now I have a zip file of that folder. So that's a simplistic version. Uh, it can get more complicated if you have folders inside folders and folders inside folders inside folders. So it just all depends on you know what you want. If you just wanna do one file, you can just compress the one file. Uh, or if you wanna do folders and folders, you can set that up. But either way, that's how you create a zip file on a Mac. Okay, so on the Windows side now, I am just gonna go ahead and make a text document. And we'll just call it a test. Just open it up here. Just put a couple of notes in it. There we go. So there we go. So now let's say we have a file here called test and I want to zip that file. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna do send to and then compress zip folder. Boom. So now I just created a zip file with that in it. And if I clicked on it, there's a little test inside the zip folder. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Now you may see different things when you right click. Uh, I have uh, other software installed, so it just depends on what you have. You could even have other archiving software installed on either your Mac or PC. So it just really depends on what you have installed. So the methods I'm showing here are just the built-in options within Mac and Windows. So coming back, let's say I now have multiple files. So now, coming back, let's say I have multiple files that I want to zip at once. I'm going to click and drag, select all the files, right click, send to compressed zipped folder. So now, if I click on that zip, it has all those files in it, just like on the Mac. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. And let's say I want to put everything in a folder and I can, again, have folders inside folders and folders inside folders inside folders. So I'm just going to say test folder to zip. Okay, so now I'm going to drag everything inside that folder and right click on the folder, send to compressed. Great, so now I have a zip file of this folder. And if I were to double click it, it would then present me with the folder that's inside it and then all the files that are inside that. So again, it just depends on how you want to organize everything. The way I would do it is if I have a folder with the entire folder structure and files that would be needed. Uh, sometimes you have programs that need things set up a certain way or I have everything organized in the exact way that I want. So if it's all organized in the way that I want inside of a folder, then I just zip that top level folder and then everything else will remain the same inside. So that way everything is organized and compressed in the way that I want. It's also worth noting that the amount of compression is dictated by the types of files you are zipping. So a document will likely compress a lot better than a big video file will. So just keep that in mind when you go to zip, it's not gonna be a magical cure-all, but it is a good way to take a bunch of loose files and put it all into one zip file so you're just moving one big file instead of a bunch of small files at once. And that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching.